All right. Thank you very much, Neil. Yes, it is a very busy uh, Thursday morning, uh, and uh, we've got uh, Gloucester High School coming in at uh, 730. We've got a lot of stuff to get to, but uh, joining me in the studio this morning, this is very cool. Can I just say that I think this is very cool? Uh, It is uh, J.M. Lee to talk about her new book, When October Ends, book one of the Novus Proprius Chronicles. Uh, J.M., also known as Jessica Lee, because we want to do a shout out to all your friends at, at Peasley. Are they listening? Oh, wait, i got to turn your microphone on. There we go. Are they listening? Some of them. No, they're not. No one listens to this program. <laughs> uh, but uh, very now, So what grade are you in at Peasley? Uh, eighth. Eighth grade at Peasley uh, Middle School in Gloucester. You have written a book, and I'm not talking like what I did on my summer vacation. I'm talking like a book book. Like how many pages are in this thing? 243, I think. 243 pages. <laughs> that is like, that would be three times as long as the longest book I've ever read. That is, I mean, that is an incredible, uh, an incredible accomplishment. Uh, and I, I'm blown away by this. So tell me a little bit. Uh, tell me a little bit about the book, what it's about, and maybe, and, and then we'll get into kind of where the idea came from and, and what you were thinking when you did it. So the the story does, takes place after an environmental disaster, but no one really knows what year it is. Um, the main character, Zena, she starts having like. She's pretty normal, and then she starts getting, like, these random mood swings, and, like, stuff starts changing, and on top of that, people start talking about prophecies, and, but no one's really telling her what's going on, so, and so she's trying to figure out what the prophecy is and what's going on, so. Very cool. So now what, now, how long, how long did this take to write? I mean, this is, like, are you like Stephen King? Did you knock it out, like, a weekend? (laughs) No. Oh, okay. It, It took me a year to write it. Really? So when did you start? How old were you when you started writing it? I started writing it when I was 12. Wow. That's incredible, because you're 14 now. Yeah. All right, even though the book says you were 13. But you were 13 when you finished it. Yes. All right. So that, that is just incredible. So as a 12-year-old, did you, I mean, you know, you just sat down and said, I'm, I'm just, you know what, I'm just going to write a book. Yeah, well, not really, because when, back then, I just randomly started writing stories, but I never finished them. And yeah. So I just kind of wrote the diary entry in the beginning, and then I picked it up later. That's see now that's interesting because a lot I think that happens to a lot of uh, to young writers they sort of start on an idea and then they get kind of you know ten pages into it and they go nah so what was it about this story that made you that you wanted to carry it through where you wanted to write and and, and figure out what the ending was I'm not actually sure <laughs> I would, guess the there was a lot of possibilities so my mind just started like turning I guess and yeah did now did you did you break it all down I mean how do you write. Because we always like to talk to writers and kind of find out what their process is. Did you? Because some writers do like an outline, you know, where they they're, they're very formal with it. But then some people will do like where they just kind of go with the flow, and then they kind of try and tie up the loose ends uh, as they go. Did you? I mean, did you break it down and have like an outline of, of how you're going to write it? Well, to be honest, the first book I just kind of wrote it, and then as I was reading over it, I kind of started thinking more about it, and some of the stuff I had to change to make more sense, but. With like the second book, I wrote a timeline, and that's helped me more. I like that. Just like in my first book, this is how I wrote it. But then in my second book, I changed my process completely. Is that, I mean, that's it's very very interesting. I know your English teacher is probably saying, "Please say that you used an outline. Please say that you did a rough draft. Did you do a rough draft, or did you just write it?" I wrote it, and then I when I read through it, I changed some stuff. So yeah, yeah. that's a great. Now who now who edited it? The book. My grandma, Darla Lee. Oh, really? Good. Shout out to Grandma as well. Is she a good editor? Yeah. Did you, did you slip her a little a little cash for the editing job? No. Hugs and kisses? She got hugs. Okay, very good. Very good. Grandma's like that better than cash anyway. So now, what is your, because we're, we're talking about the book, When October Ends, it's book one of the Novus Proprius Chronicles uh, by uh, Jessica Lee, who uh, is 14 years old. This is incredible. I, I, I love this, because I tell kids all the time, when I was, a, when I was 14, when I was 13, uh, you know, first of all, they had just invented words, and it was very hard to write a book. But I mean, like to write a book, you had to know people, and it was a process. But I mean, for for kids now, you can do, you could totally do this. I mean, this is this is proof that you can totally do it. So, uh, what is your favorite part of the book? Uh, and 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 maybe tell me a little bit why it's your favorite part. I like chapter twenty because I'm not really sure why I like it, but I think it's funny. So it's it's just my favorite. What chapter. happens in in chapter twenty? Um, she's on a boat and she's trying to learn how to fight and I guess like combat type stuff. Sure, hand to hand. Yeah. And doesn't go. It doesn't go very well. Well, it's just funny because the person that teaches her doesn't really like her very much. 
So he makes it a little a little tough on her. Yeah. I got you. Very good. Very good. So now, uh, so who do you? Because I mean, you're you're 14. Uh, but uh, do you read a lot? I mean, I would imagine that you you have to be a pretty voracious reader. Yeah, I do like reading. <laughs> yeah, what do you who do you like reading? I like reading Cassandra Clare's books, The Mortal Instruments. Okay, I have no idea what that is, oh. but uh, but that's okay because I'm sure so, I'm sure people do. I don't get a chance to read. If I read a newspaper, I'm I'm very lucky. What else did now? Do you because you're 14? I got to ask you this: Do you read Twilight? No. Oh. Uh, no offense to Stephanie Mayer, <laughs> I think her name is. Right. I, I just don't like it. Bella complains too much. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for saying that. I thought that it was just me. I don't like the fact that, and and maybe, and I'll get this, I'll get your perspective on this. I don't like the fact that Bella is the main character, and yet she is not central to any of the action. She's just, just a set piece that things happen around her. She's not, she doesn't like at any point really become empowered to step yeah. up and take control of her own destiny. She's just sort of like, well, I don't know, Edward, what do you want to do? All right. Yeah, and she needs to make up her mind. Exactly. Like her Jacob. I mean, really. Exactly. I like where you're going with that, Jessica. So now, uh, you're uh, th- again, you've written a book. <laughs> you're working on your second book. Is your second book done? I have like two or three more chapters left to write. Man, oh man. So you're <laughs> prolific as well. You're turning into the, to the, the Peasley uh, Middle School Stephen King, oh. who writes a book <laughs> like a week because he, he, he can just turn them out. Oh. But uh, how many books do you see in the series? Three. Three. And then what are you going to do after that? Are you already thinking about it? Do you have other stories in mind? Do you have other things that you want to do? A couple. <laughs> Can't reveal any of them? Well, I have one book in mind, and it's kind of steampunk themed. Okay, very good. Because people, uh, I don't know that our audience necessarily knows what steampunk is, but it's, explain what steampunk is. Can you explain it? I know what it is a little bit, but. It's like Victorian age stuff, I guess. Kind of Victorian like science fiction. Kind of to like, yeah, jamming like Victorian science fiction yes. is uh, that's actually a pretty good uh, definition of steampunk. Now that's very cool. Now, where can people get the book? Um, it's for sale at Twice Told Tales right now, and on my website. Okay, what's the website? www.novusproprius.com. Oh boy, <laughs> you picked the tough one. Novus, N O V U S P R O P R I U S dot com. Yes. Very very cool, and, uh, and now. Amazon. And Amazon as well, really? Oh, Kindle. oh you get, <laughs> getting all the plugs in. Very good. So uh, lots of different ways people can pick up the book. Uh, second book, you're going to be the same thing? When do you think the second book will be on? Um, probably spring. Spring, you think? Okay. Now, can people, can people, we, we, can you give them, a, is there anywhere they can go for a preview so they can read a little bit of it and see what it's like? Um, I, not yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, all right, that's uh, fair enough. That, that's that, that's all right. That's all right. I mean, you're you're 14. You've, you've written a book, and people should pick it up just for that. Now, this is something interesting. Your dad was saying that this has actually kind of inspired some of your classmates uh, at Peasley. At Peasley, and apparently some people in Germany too. <laughs> some just random people in Germany just went. Friends. Oh, friends. Oh, okay. I was about to say, wow, that's that's that is just the most random thing ever. If your book just <laughs> some guy in Germany wakes up, I'm going to write a book today, and he just sits down and you know, he's, I heard Jessica wrote a book. Uh, so, so you have friends in Peasley who, is, who are actually writing books as well. Well, I have two friends that like writing, and one of them has started writing a book. And then there's a person at Page who she needs to finish one. <laughs> <laughs> What's her name? Emily Smith. Emily, Jessica's calling you out. You got to finish your book. So you can come in and do your interview and uh, and have your dad videotape you while, while you're doing the interview. Uh, all right, very good. It's, uh, the book's called When October Ends. It's book one of the Novus Proprius Chronicles. Uh, it's N-O-V-U-S-P-R-O-P-R-I-U-S dot com. You can check it out there, Amazon, all that. Uh, Jessica, thank you for coming in this morning. And good luck with the book. Uh, you can pick it up at Twice Told Tales. You can pick it up all over the place. Did I forget something? I forgot something. What did I forget? I'm supposed to mention that on the 29th of <laughs> January, we're having a book signing at, um, at Twice Told Tales. And also this weekend, we're going to be at MarsCon. So. What is that? It's in Williamsburg, I think. And it's like a sci-fi convention. Oh, cool. That's really cool. Have you been to one before? No. You're going to be terrified. <laughs> You're going to People are going to creep you out at that thing. <laughs> uh, because there's going to be some there's going to be some nerd dressed up like, uh, like uh, Captain Picard. From Star Trek, uh, saying uh, that he wants a copy of your book. It's, you're probably actually going to have a, a great time. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, conventions are conventions are a little weird when you go to your first one, but uh, they can be a lot of fun. Uh, Jessica, thank you for coming in this morning. We appreciate it. 
And when is when is the book signing again at Twice Told Tales? Uh, the 29th from 11:30 to 1:30. Very, very cool. This is uh, this is awesome, uh, Jessica. Let us know when you're uh, when you have the when the second book comes out, and we'll uh, we'll have you back in. We'll talk to you more about the about the uh, Novus Proprius Chronicles. It's about a werewolf, right? Werewolves and other things. Werewolves and other things. <laughs> well, All right. I can't give it away. Well, I know. I understand. I understand. Like any good author, that's the tease. You see, you tease people to read the book so they can find out what it's about. Very good. Anything else? That's it? Okay. Nothing. You're making faces at the camera. I'm going to call you out on that. All right. Very good. Uh, Jessica, thank you for coming in this morning. And good luck with the book. We'll be uh, talking to, uh, to you more about it. It's uh, 719. Good morning.